hello everybody welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how to make a lotion in one beaker popularly we all know that we use uh, two beakers to make lotion so this is a very effective way to make a uh, lotion without using two beakers and we are not going to use the usual um, method that you are all accustomed to water in oil in water emulsion so this process i call it one beaker procedure for making lotion this project is specifically for my supporters here so if you are looking for recipe you will find in the members only section or you can also visit our stablecosmeticformulas.com it's just very very special special procedure and it's going to save you a lot of time in lotion making so if you are new to lotion making or if you are an experienced lotion maker this procedure is going to excite you because it's so effective and I'm very good when especially when you're making large batch lotion now you are used to having all your ingredients in two different beakers but in this project you are going to use one beaker and it's so straightforward but there are some rules that you have to follow to get it right so head over to the members section if you have not joined click join now to have access to the recipe special recipe i'll be using and a special procedure we will be following today so do work to click now or you can visit stablecosmeticformulas.com where you will have access to the formula we use for this special project so like i said in the recipe it's going to do you well if you have an overhead stirrer okay an overhead stirrer with heater okay because we are going to need that if you have a uh, if you have a lab uh, water bath, you can also use that. But I prefer to use overhead stirrer in case you want to check the temperature. You want to use you want to check the temperature of your water. So that's why I'm using an overhead stirrer. So basically, what you do is measure the first ingredient in the water phase of your formulation. Okay, so go to the recipe and measure the first ingredient in the water phase of your formulation. In the phase A, part one, the first ingredient, measure it and put in a beaker. Make sure the beaker you are using, okay, can can do well with it, okay. So that's the first thing you're going to do. Then you're going to take your thermometer. If you do not have a thermometer, I recommend you get it. And if you don't, if you do not have a hot place terror, I have one here which I recommended uh, in my few days ago so check my check this uh, video and see the description button you will see the video of me unboxing this uh, hot plate uh, stair very very good that's what I use for this project so you will find it very exciting uh, the in interesting thing about this tool is that you have everything you need basically basically you're going to take your thermometer okay and put it here okay you go you need to watch that video and see me set that up what you're going to use this for is to check the temperature of our water okay once the temperature reaches the desired temperature of your emulsifier then we're going to add the emulsifier to the water in my own case i'm using natural was s by pure blend natural and the the supplier recommend that we use we use uh we heat our water face till 80, 80 to 85 degrees so this one i'm going to eat this water to 80 degrees celsius so that's why it's very important that you put your thermometer directly into the water make sure you wipe your thermometer with uh, isopropyl alcohol rubbing alcohol so as to prevent contamination why do we have to eat our distilled water for this process you eat your distilled water okay so as to prepare your emulsifier ready for the next ingredient so why that is working uh, the good thing about working in a lab is that you will be versatile you will be able to multitask it's very very important so now i encourage you to go and measure 
face A ingredient number two. Measure number two with number three. So had face A ingredient. We're currently working on face A part one. So face A part one ingredient number two and three. Add them together and put them aside. Then you go to face A part one ingredient number four. Measure that, okay? Then you go to face A part one ingredient number five, okay? So measure that and put that here. So basically we are doing that in preparation for our water reaching the desired temperature. Another thing you can do to, to uh, hasten this is you can boil your distilled water uh, in a kettle, but make sure the kettle is dedicated to cosmetic formulation. Okay, that is going to speed up your whole process. So boil the distilled water, okay? Had the boiled distilled water, measure the boiled distilled water. So that means in your face A part one, your distilled water will be boiled distilled water. Why I don't bother doing that is to prevent contamination. I don't really like. So that's why I prefer to warm my distilled water until it reaches my desired temperature. So I'm waiting right now. My thermometer is showing me is at 40 degrees Celsius and I'm still going all the way to 80. So now we are almost there. Okay, so our thermometer is telling us. So now at this phase, while we're waiting, we're just about to get there, go ahead and add phase A part one ingredient number two to your water. Okay, so add it to your water. You are just about to get to, to reach that temperature, right? Just add it to your water and wait for it to melt. You don't need to worry about mixing it, don't bother. It's going to, miss, uh, it's going to melt by itself when it reaches the appropriate temperature. You still have your thermometer in there to check the temperature. This uh, metal we need thermometer inserted to your water. And if you do not have a thermometer, uh, this type of thermometer, right? If you have a point and shoot infrared thermometer, you can also use that to check your water temperature. But for this, I recommend you have this type of deep thermometer. I have it uh, linked in the description box below. Your emulsifier has uh, has dissolved, has melted, right? The next thing you want to do now is to do. We haven't reached that temperature. I, I prefer we reach the recommended temperature. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. We are almost there. Just in few more minutes, you will reach the 80 degrees Celsius. Then I'm going to show you what you're going to do next. I don't want to skip this. I don't want to fast forward it because I know I'm showing you something that's very, very important that you will, the process you will continue to use as you formulate. So basically when you reach that temperature, all you have to do is just drop in. At this stage, you can, at that stage, when you reach the re desired temperature, turn off the heater, okay? Because I'm using hot place terra. So let me show you a little bit of my desk. So we are almost there. It takes time because I didn't eat the water before. So we are almost at 80 degrees Celsius. So as you can see here, you can see that my emulsifier has melted, right? At this stage, you want to then, you see, we are almost at 80 degrees Celsius. Because it's all split, it's going there. Even if I turn it over, reduce the heat a little bit, then you had your face A part one ingredient number four. Okay? Add your ingredient number four at this stage. Because you need that to melt too, right? So add it to, to, add it, to it. Remember, we are, we are hiding it in faces, isn't it? So very important. So you're going to let that stay in. 
a few more minutes then we're going to have the last ingredient and our last ingredient here is face part a okay part a face a part one ingredient number five that's what we're going to add next and at this phase you have to really be fast but things up eating eating up very fast okay you have to be fast turn off your eat hot plate at this phase okay when you notice that has melted a little bit you can see that then you had your The last ingredient in fits A part one, add it to it. Now, some of you will ask me, well, what happened to the microbe in, what happened to the microbes in my, don't worry about that. Your preservative will handle that. And any temperature above 70 degrees, they cannot handle it. Okay, at this phase, it will look as if your water is boiling over. Can you see? So take it off. At this phase, take it over, mix it very well. Mix it with your stirrer. And now at this phase, after mixing it, quickly run, take your immersion blender and blend it. I use homogenizer here at the lab, okay? So use your immersion blender to blend it until you get a lotion consistency. I'm going to use an homogenizer to blend this, okay? I'm going to use an homogenizer to blend this. You're going to hear the, my homogenizer in the background. Now, before you, I don't want you to get lost with me. Continue blending for at least the next three to five minutes. I'm still blending, even though you're going to get this lotion consistency. Whether you are blending with a homogenizer or immersion blender, continue blending for the next three to five minutes. homogenizer so you see exactly what is going on on my bed. That is the homogenizer right there. A little bit more, that is the homogenizer running. stop my homogenizer and I'm going to bring that emotion to you. Here is the emotion. So this is the first phase of lotion making. Your emotion is going to have see the consistency of a lotion. Even though it's a lotion but at this phase it's still runny, isn't it? So then you're going to take it back to your homogenizer and blend it for another two minutes. So the process of blending and stopping is what will eventually make our lotion. Though when it thickens, okay, when your emulsion cools down, your lotion thickens. So don't worry, oh my God, it's running. No, no, don't worry about that. It thickens, okay, when it cools down. So do not worry about the thickness. Take it back to your homogenizer. If you are using your immersion blender at this phase, continue blending with your immersion blender. But I do not use that. I use my homogenizer. So I'm going to blend it until we get started. I'm going to bring it back to the screen when it has reached, it has cooled down, okay? So guys, while we are waiting for our lotion to cool down, remember I told you one point that I want you to keep in mind as you when you're making lotion or cream, it's going to cool down as it, uh, it's going to take in as it cools down. So the, when the temperature goes down, your emulsion will take in. So do not worry. Sometimes you may think like it has separated, it's not becoming a lotion. No, don't take aside those worries and just follow this instruction. 
when it cools down it's going to thicken for you that's exactly the process uh, how the process of emulsion works it will thicken as it cools down so keep that in mind now you're going to check it don't worry it's going to thicken as it cools down so it's not something you should worry about so we're going to leave it aside let it do its own thing while we get on with our work now this process is far from over the next thing you're going to do now is to blend your gum right. part two ingredients so go to your part two ingredient and mix the two ingredients in the part two of phase a so go ahead and mix your gum so here we have the gum and also the next ingredient we are going to add So I'm adding part two ingredient right, right now. For that matter, we do well when they see it. Just a little heat is what you need. You do not need too much heat. we are at the final stage of this lotion making procedure i know by now you must have uh, you must have had this stable emotion if you don't have it don't worry um, just depending on the emulsifier that you use it's going when it cools down it's going to come together except if you do not have a perfect recipe but if you have the recipe that i provided at uh, the pro recipe member club you will ha you get it and remember at the bottom of that recipe i also gave you the step-by-step -step instruction so this video is just a gift for me to you and the public but remember the recipe is only for members only and also you can also find the recipe as tablecosmeticformulas.com so let's go to the last phase the last phase is called cool down phase if you are new to lotion making, cool down phase is anything below 40 degrees Celsius. So check, you're going to need something to check. So right now we have 38.3 Celsius. That's so that's anything below 40 degrees, what you we call cool down phase. Even if you get 40.3, please allow it to go below 40 before you had the cool down phase. Cool down phase is where we had all our act, most of the actives. Okay, so I will not say all. Most of the active is well. So remember, in your first, make sure the first ingredient in the cool down phase is anything you want. That's why I did not specify any. So I'm going to use the one that I want to use for this special project here. Okay, which I don't need to tell you, but you are free to use any active that you want at this phase, right? So the first thing is going to have the first ingredient in the cool down phase. You'll be the one to determine that, okay? If you need help on what kind of ingredient you can use, don't forget to email, to drop me a comment in the members section, okay? Support is for members only. And this is how to appreciate your support. I appreciate you. Now, you mix it for each ingredient you had, you're going to mix it. Don't forget, for each ingredient, we are going to give it a mix. This really helps with stability, okay? Very, very important. Do not just add and add and no, you add each ingredient one by one. Then the next ingredient also is your choice. In our recipe, members only recipe, the next ingredient is your choice. So my choice ingredient in there is what I'm going to add now. So the next ingredient is your choice ingredient in the cool down phase.
so for each ingredient do not forget make sure you mix it Then the third ingredient in the cool down phase is not your choice, okay? It's a very important ingredient that you all have to add, okay? Don't forget, make sure you add the ingredient. If you are a member and you don't have access to this recipe, just uh, drop me a comment in the members page, or if you don't know how to get to the members page, you can drop a comment below, I will guide you, okay? Then the final ingredient is our preservative. So you use a preservative of choice. Just make sure you ask your supplier, the supplier of your preservative of what to use, what percentage to use. And if you need help also drop a comment below the recipe we use for this project in the member section. So now we're going to have the final ingredient, which is a preservative. I'm using Uxil P, uh, Uxil P 9010 by Pure Blend Natural. Highly recommended preservative for lotion, okay, and shampoo. Okay, highly recommended lotion for all your emotions.